If you're thinking about moving to Bakersfield, I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hey guys, this is Charles Payton with Keeping It Real Bakersfield. In this episode, we're gonna talk about keeping it real. So if you're thinking about moving here, relocating here, I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and also things to consider. All right, first thing we're gonna talk about is the good. So what we're gonna talk about is what you get for the money. All right, so here's an example. I'm standing in a brand new five bedroom, three bath house. You could probably get this one for about 650. If you're just going hours south of here to the closest town, you'll probably get the same house five bedroom, it might be a used home for about a million plus. All right, so in Bakersfield, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. You're gonna get a lot more area to kind of spread around, a uh, bigger yard, you can put a pool, you have areas for the kids, you'll probably have room for RV, um, and you're not stacked up on top of each other here in Bakersfield. Everything is really spread out. It's almost like you have country living in the city. It's not tight. You're not having to worry about being up on top of your neighbor. So in Bakersfield, we have a unique lifestyle because we have all this land, but we have all the shops that you have in a big city. We have the Walmarts, the Targets. We have a, you know, a downtown that's being rejuvenated with these small, cool boutique shops like Smith and Nana's Barbershop. There's so many different things that are just like mom and pops that is really cool. Then we also have the Padre Hotel that is, you know, was built in the, the I think the 20s or 30s and it has that old world like feel of like the the drinking era of like the gangsters the mobsters such a cool place and then we also have like 10 plus golf courses so we got seven oaks country club bakersfield country club current golf course the links in rosedale rio bravo um, there's ton that's just to name a few and then i, I don't want to spoil it but i'm also going to do a special of the kern river where you got whitewater rafting you have these uh little private hot springs where you can go at any time of the day, any time of the week, and just enjoy the springs of the natural water coming out of the hill. And it's got this, the minerals and stuff like that will help you out in, in terms of health. And then we're really close to the coast. I mean, you, you hop in your car, an hour and a half, you can be at the ocean. You go the other way, you, you can be at Big Bear. So we have all this stuff really close, but you just have a different lifestyle than that hustle and bustle of the city. So that's why you wanna to move to Bakersfield, or that's one of the reasons why. All right, you heard a little bit about the good, now let's talk about the bad. All right, let's talk about gas prices and taxes. So it is California, so they're a little bit higher than normal if you're not from, from California. But if you move to Bakersfield, you might think that these prices are pretty affordable. All right, the other thing is our downtown. So a little earlier I said that there's some cool shops that are happening and a lot of places to go. Uh, the Padre, the Smitten, the Nana's Barbershop, and little boutique shops. So it's not quite where it needs to be yet, but if you go down there and you explore and you, and you, and you hit up the shops, you're gonna see it's actually getting a lot better. And I can really see over the next two to five years for it to be just really booming downtown place where it's gonna be desirable. It's gonna be a place that people wanna go and eat and enjoy the evening. All right, we talked about the good, the bad, and now let's talk about the ugly. It's hot, as you can see, I've only been out here for five minutes talking about how ugly it is, and I'm just sweating like crazy. Right now, I would say it's about 95 degrees, maybe 100 degrees, but it is hot. So that's one of the ugly things about Bakersfield. Hey everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that episode of the good, the bad, and the ugly, keeping it real Bakersfield. If you enjoyed that one, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, on to the next episode. Have a great day.